And slowly you come to realize it's all as it should be. All right, people. This is the Q&A section, but we have something new here. You know, <laughs> after doing this, this is the episode what, 18? I don't know. Oh, I don't, I have no idea. Yeah, dude, we lost track of time. Well, you know, <laughs> we, we, let's, we said, let's do something more interesting. You know, let's cringe out the audience. We need some cringe in our <laughs> life in order you know, to survive. This is a three great ball format, you know. <laughs> so I sent Brian a video, some cringy video, and he's going to react to it. I'm going to show it to you guys. And I guess let's have fun. Let's have fun. All right. Oh, All right, Brian. Okay. Press the start. And... Okay, three, two, okay. one. Okay. Start. Okay. So that's a squid, right? She has a, she's eating a dried squid. And then... There are, I have so many questions. So, okay, so her head fell off and... I don't know why it's the translation in German. It's not too... Thankfully, I, I, I know enough Japanese to... to... <laughs> all right, all right. Wait for it, wait for it. Why are they, why are they getting into a rap battle? <laughs> Stop laughing. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? The hands like tapping in the background. <laughs> the rhymes are okay. Get crazy, get crazy. Why would it get crazier? Like, this is already ridiculous. Now look how she the bag is playing you know, the Japanese thing. Yeah, he's trying to just trying to play with like lazy hype man. Why are, there's all these old people and they're like, oh this is so much fun. <laughs> Think about the scrunch. You love it. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> like all, all I can think of is just that picture of of Miyazaki saying that anime was a mistake. <laughs> Dude, you got zombie lolly girls rap battle. What do you what do you, you cannot ask for more than this, you know? I mean I think it's a pretty good indication of where anime is right now. <laughs> I guess we're just lucky that they did start making out with each other. <laughs> Yeah, you know, every time one of my friends, you know, he that he you know, did not know about this cl particular clip, I would show him, just you know, to to, <laughs> to make him lose faith in humanity. 
I, I can only imagine what it was like for those voice actors when they came in that day. They're just these these ladies, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this cute little like idol show, and you know maybe make some jokes." And they're like, "No, you have to rap today." Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. It's just you know this, this clip leaves you with a lot of questions. Ah, uh, you know. After watching this video, my friend, huh? Brian Starkel, are you a better man right now? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. Dude, I reached enlightenment once I saw that that, that clip. I never watched the you anime, just, but that you, clip, you know, it, it's you know, it ascended me beyond the beyond. You just, <laughs> you just cringe so hard, just your mind travels to another universe. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, it's like the have you seen the have you seen that gif of uh, of Neil deGrasse Tyson and he's just like <laughs> yeah, and he's just like he's just cringing. It's yeah. like that basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the point. The cringe. <laughs> Give me all the cringe. Well, I... Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Pokemon, you know, anime rap, you know, anime rap is something. Zombie <laughs> lolly girls with rapping. This is something you don't see every day, you know. <laughs> I, I'm. If I did see it every day, I think there would be a bigger problem. <laughs> this is. <laughs> 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 Maybe you'll be in your mother's basement or something. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, this is the quote of the year. If I see it every yeah. day, there, there should be a problem. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right. All right. First question How are you today? Um, I was, I was good before, uh, and then I watched that video, and now. <laughs> No, I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> it makes you question everything. Everything. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I guess. Let's start with the, you know, with this. The most, f what is the most forgettable Pokemon? Um. So, okay. When we were talking about um in the in the um lost thunder stuff mm. we were talking about bliss mm -hmm. but i thought it was i thought we were actually talking about bastiodon <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rhino thing yeah yeah it's a te it's terrible <laughs> and It's from Gen 4, but yeah, it's really just forgettable and stupid. I don't know, man. Some Pokemons are just, you know, the filler Pokemon. Exist as, yeah. you know, as, you know, part of the ecosystem there, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Uh, do you play Pokemon card game uh, real life? Or online more? Which one is, you know, the more you play? Um, I mean, probably if you were to add up all of the hours that I've that I've played, it's probably a lot more um, physical cards than online. Um, I quit playing. So before I broke my tablet, um, I used to just sit and watch TV and just play Pokemon online. Or I would have my phone and my tablet and I would play Hearthstone and Pokemon online at the same time mm. um but i broke my tablet <laughs> that's that's unfortunate <laughs> all right all right next question all right next question all right pokemon let's go to get or not to get no <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that's it. Just a flat no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care. So 
you know, they think they have my money. <laughs> the same thing with, with Super Smash Bros. So people, the people who make Super Smash Bros. think they have my money. Nope, I'm keeping my hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, go against you know, the, you know, the, the Nintendo scandal. <laughs> the scamming us. But uh, for me, I want to get it because I want to stream it for the channel. Because you know how the mm-hmm. the trend thing goes. If the new game comes, if the new game comes, you you stream it. You have most you know. The most amount of views of in that particular time on the day of the release, so that's why you know, you know, like the you know the cool stream boys right uh, nowadays. This is what they do, I guess. <laughs> and I want uh, my yeah. fat gingar behind me. I guess that's a good reason. Yeah. And well, also, I mean, yeah, Janichi Masuda says like the the Pokemon game is gonna be easy, but the post game. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be challenging, and he says you will challenge a 151 Pokemon Masters, and each of the these Masters will have one Pokemon from one of 151. So you have the Master of Bulbasaur, the Master of Charizard, the Master of Magikarp, the Master of Gyarados, and you will fight him with the same Pokemon. So you will fight with your Charizard against the Master of Charizard, which has a Thunder Punch, by the way, <laughs> to gain that title. You know the. And I guess that will be the master of you know Mewtwo and Ditto and Magikarp and the master of I don't know. It's a niche, I guess. Post game challenge. That's stupid. <laughs> now you're not gonna catch them all. You're gonna master them all. You know. Cheers for that. Well, like. <laughs> <laughs> why do you why do you need to play through an entire game to play a game that's fun mm. it's like because, it's not fun when it's really easy I guess I think it's because of the kids because in, in an interview Jinichi Masuja says, uh, said like we, we made gen 5 and 6 and 7 very linear and easy games and you know linear maps because of the you know the fall uh, the you know, previous games like gen 3 the the amount of water you have to surface is crazy and you get lost mm-hmm. i got lost gen 4 you know the a lot of thing you know you have you have to go back and forth to the same place the mount mo- the mountain current mm-hmm. i think yeah back and forth to it you know it requires more you know active mind and more, you know, game in, in interaction with the game, but it's not linear, it's not easy for the kids to play. And a lot of kids, especially, you know, these days with the phone games, you play, you know, a phone game, and if you got stuck, okay, to the next game, to the other game. So their mm-hmm. point of view is selling more to kid to kids for the, you know, but for, you know, the, the, the mature audience, the, you know, the older guys, they got the post game to enjoy. This is their idea, their theory about how a Pokemon game should look like. So, so here's the thing, Izzy's. All right. Back in the 1980s, on the Nintendo, okay, mm-hmm. you would you would get your game from the store and you would come home and you would put it in your in your console. And you would start it up and you would hit start. Mm-hmm. And then you could pick and it would say, do you want to play easy or hard? <laughs> Why can't there be an easy mode and a hard mode? I guess, I don't know. Or maybe it's too much effort to design and they're making like crap ton of money without doing so so i guess i don't it's you know it's the, the businessman world you know they're making ton and ton and ton of money you know the amount you know, the sales of pokemon sun and moon was the the most sales in the history of pokemon itself they made more mm. money than maybe four or five pokemon games combined <sighs> That's, that tells you something, man. They're businessmen. Yeah. I guess we're not... Uh, 
your idea is solid. Like, okay, give me an easy, normal, and hard. Easy and hard is enough. Like, for, you know, for, just give me a challenge. For, you know, the, you know, the yeah. pre-game and the post-game, you know. I want to enjoy the pre-game as much as I have to wait for the post-game to be the master of Magicka. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, all right. All right. On that note, the question said, why game freak are lame freak? <laughs> I, I think we already answered that. I guess. I they're, guess. they're lazy. They're lazy. They make a ton of money without doing anything. Just for, you know, Pikachu dancing weirdly. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Give that Pikachu a hat and, you know, you, you will sell a lot of plushies. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, that's a fun question. If Pokemon, the actual, you know, monsters, the pocket monsters themselves, themselves, were going to make a JoJo anime, which Pokemon would be Dio and which Pokemon would be JoJo? Okay, so we have to... Th- okay. So we have to think about sort of the personality mm-hmm. that goes into this. So, so if you're looking at JoJo, you want a you want a Pokemon that punches, so uses fist attacks. Um, really does is. is Hmm. You want the edginess of a teenager, you know. Yeah, you want the edginess. Um, hmm. For Dio, you want like a vampire that's blonde. And evil. <laughs> and evil. Hmm. So? So for Dio, I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with Gengar, actually. Huh, Gengar. Yeah, so Gengars eat dreams. That's the closest I think you're going to get to a vampire Pokemon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they're they're also very clearly evil. Yeah, from the lore and stuff. Yeah. They hang out in your shadow Um, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And that also makes sense for a vampire. They don't go out in the sun. Mm-hmm. I think that I think that's that. Mm-hmm. For JoJo, <sighs> hmm. I'm thinking somewhere like maybe. <sighs> the problem is, I keep thinking of like firefighting Pokemon, like uh, like Blaziken and and Infernape. But I don't think those really fit. They're not quite. They're not quite edgy enough. <laughs> Trying to think of a Pokemon that gets like punch, attacks, but is also really edgy. Yeah, you got Lucario, I guess. Yeah, but it would have to be like Mega Lucario. Yeah, yeah. Because he's got the he's got the weird looking um like thing. Hmm. And he punches the close combat, you know, I guess. Yeah. I see Dio as Pikachu, you know. <laughs> Maybe because of the yellow. Uh, Pikachu is a clear yeah. and evil businessman, like we discussed in the previous episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, next question. All uh, right. How far do you go on your model kits? Example, do you sand them or do you paint them, etc.? For uh, so for um, I haven't done any repainting on Gundams, mm-hmm. but that's something I'd like to start doing. Um, I do generally sand them and try to make them, you know, look nice and, and sort of fix up any imperfections they might have. Um, but I haven't gotten into painting or, or weathering or battle damage. 
but that's something I'm I'm gonna look at. I'm working on uh, with Warhammer, and I'm gonna start moving into Gundams in the future. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice, very nice. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. How long did we take? Uh, that's a, okay. We can do a couple more. Um. All right. Uh, we don't have any much more going on here. All right. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh, this question goes on to my, you know, Pokemon Soul Silver gameplay on my channel because I kept saying, mm-hmm. all right, uh, why people are hating on Pokemon Let's Go Encounter Change? Because what you mostly do in your Pokemon game is use Ripple and Max Ripple, and that's it. And this was <laughs> proven in my gameplay. And the whole running throughout Joe, so I use I use Ripple. I had I had no problem leveling up my Pokemon using the trainers. And when I need you know to level up a level or more, I grind a little, and that's it. So the question says, why does Aziz hate on random encounters, even though he played a lot of games with random encounters such as Pokemon, you know? And you know, bravely default and whatsoever. Wow, what do you think? Uh, so okay, I I can tell you the exact moment where people stop liking random encounters, mm-hmm. and that's if you're in a dungeon, you're out of healing items, and you just want to leave. <laughs> you don't want to fight anybody. You just want to go back to the town and rest, and that's when you hit random encounter after random encounter every single time you move. <laughs> yeah, you know the pain done. of you know with, with with you know with the before they change it the the poison thing when you walk and the Pokemon's are poisoned yeah. and you see your screen is shaking from the poison <laughs> and you know that's in your childhood that's the most horrific thing that can happen to you and you encounter a, you know a fast Pokemon they cannot run from and it's just you know. Your 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 psyche breaking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is the most famous Pokemon scandal? Hmm. That's a weird one. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, it's probably. I mean, a lot of that stuff doesn't really get into the like like the national news, you know, mm-hmm. probably the biggest one was the, the theft in, yeah, the, in England. The truck. Yeah. <laughs> Still other pre-releases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we did not hear about later on. Like this story yeah, you know, need, a, need, a, need a sequel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Last question. Oh, actually. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Okay. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, it was the guy, it was the two guys who brought guns to the world championships. Ooh, these guys. That was, yeah, that was the biggest one. Mm-hmm. Like, what did, what do they, what did they want? Like just cards and stuff? Um, they, I don't think they wanted anything. I think they were just trying to act tough. Like, why terrorize the whole people if you want to steal anything or gain anything? I don't know, man. Uh, I think they were just stupid. <laughs> like flat out stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I don't know, man. People are weird. You know. But after you watch that zombie and... anime, nothing you know, gets about <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, last question. What's the most famous Pokemon conspiracy theory? Oh, I mean that's that's you know Lord Reclev being psychic. That's the one. I don't know. It's a theory anymore. It's almost a fact right now. He's a, he's, <laughs> he's a, he's a being beyond beyond being. <laughs> all right, all right. That was, that was good. All right, my man, my friend. Any last words for our audience? You know, this is very light, you know, uh, our senpai, since the questions are getting less and less, so that's why I added, you know, the clip thing, you know, just, mm-hmm. you know, keep people, you know, refreshed. 
since the main section was an hour and 10 minutes, I think. So we cannot mi match them in two this time. So that's why, you know, I added something, you know, new mm -hmm. because I knew we we're talking, we we're going to talk about Lost Thunder and Lost Thunder will drag us a lot. So that's mm -hmm. why, you know, I prepared something, you know, interesting. <laughs> 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 All right, my friend. All right, my friend. What do you want to say? Uh, anime was a mistake. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, then you get those, you know, you know, now we have nightmares of, you know, zombie lolly girls you know, <laughs> invading your, <laughs> your dreams, rapping, dropping the mic. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you for all of you guys who watched till this point. And if you guys if you have a question for next time our senpai drop it in the comments you know there are a lot of guys you know outside the community i think want to ask questions and since we we, la we clearly lack lacking the questions and i don't want to and there is a lot of questions i don't want to you know, ask because it's, it's repetitive or boring or whatsoever sorry my friends but uh, it's the truth <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, feel free to drop your question in the comments and I will ask it hopefully next time. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. This is an hour with Senpai. And uh, I don't know what to say anymore. That anime is invading my brain. It's, it's, you know, it's transmitting, you know, something to me. Something evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. That was Brian Starkle and Dark Cry Q8. And See you guys later. Zero quality. Yeah, I'll come in my hand, inshallah.